nine yards. Timeout there on the sideline. Interesting. You know, you, you think they're, they're going to try to run the football and, and maybe just be content just to try to get out of here without turning the ball over potentially again to this Alabama defense. But they run the football, pick up nine yards, and now maybe with such a great kicker in Hunter Lawrence, maybe they're thinking, you know, let's take a shot downfield and see if we can come up with a, a catch and pass interference and maybe, be get, maybe get into a field goal range. When you think about the Texas receivers, both Williams and Buckner had shots here in the first half that they probably should have held on to. Yes. One of which, by Williams, would have been a touchdown. Would have been a huge, it would have been a huge play. And somebody within the offense, a leader, a Jordan Shipley, somebody needs to talk about helping this quarterback out in the second half if he's going to be out there and giving him confidence that they believe in him. Here's Gilbert, that inside shuttle pass. And, incomplete. Uh, incomplete, or is it a fumble? Picked up by Darius. Darius in the air. Darius going for the end zone. That could be a touchdown. If he's got it in the air, that's an interception and a touchdown. That was a shuttle pass, remember? And the way they're celebrating, you think in all the world that Marcel Darius, who knocked Colt McCoy out of the game, now the officials are going to huddle. Obviously, instant replay. We'll take a look at the replays upstairs and make sure. But if he caught it in the air without it hitting the ground, interception, touchdown, yeah. Alabama. The result of the play is an interception and a touchdown. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, number 57 on the scoring team. The 15-yard penalty will be enforced with the kickoff. Well, that, that play happened so fast. The shovel pass. I really thought that with the juggling that the ball may have hit the ground, but it, it did not. And that's exactly what Texas did not want to do. You they wanted to get to the halftime, 17-6. to They're the ones who called the timeout. The Tiffin on the field, a buzz in the crowd. The dagger may have come out early. Tiffin tacks on another. And even the play call with a shovel pass, you're going to think that the worst case, Monroe's going to drop it, and it's incomplete. The ball is bouncing all around right there. I thought it may have hit the ground, but I, no chance. He is all over that, and, and big number 57 tonight, Darius, has been a big factor. He's the young man who knocked Colt McCoy out. He's had a lot of opportunities to get pressure on Gilbert, and this time very alert. Keep in mind, he's 300 pounds. What an athlete. That's exactly what Nick Saban needed. That's, that's what he's been waiting for, an opportunity to get the, the freshman to turn the football over, and he finally got it. 24-6, Marcel Darius out of Huffman, Alabama. Just a sophomore, just a baby. 